What's up YouTube? This is a video I was going to shoot about my uh, CRX calipers I just painted. And then I thought, you know, I've done so many little easy, cheap, do-it-yourself, kind of like cool, low bling things to my cars that I would just make a video kind of talking about a bunch of them. So I kind of was just like looking at these three cars I've got here that I'm working on. And I came up with uh, 10 different things that I thought I'd share. And this is pretty much applicable to any car. This is just like easy and cheap uh, stuff that you can do pretty much to any car for very little money and really improve the appearance of your car. And I get a lot of comments all the time on how clean and good my cars look, even for being very old. This car is uh, a 2003 Insight. It's 19 years old. This is a 91 CRX and it's 31 years old. It looks great. And I didn't find either of these cars this way. They were in um, nothing, looked nothing like this, but with a lot of hard work and just a little bit of money, I've uh, done a lot of little stuff to them. So I'm gonna go through here and just uh, use these three cars as examples and talk about some things that um, that I've done. Uh, so the first one, I got 10 things. Uh, the first one is, and before I start, actually, I'm gonna show you just a list of products. Um, and uh, if don't ask me for links, cause you can get this stuff, you know, just anywhere. Um, but like, this is the felt polishing pads that I'm gonna mention, Amazon. Um, <clears throat> you know, this is just vinyl. You can get it pretty much in any color you can imagine. Um, this is uh, just uh, vine. This is uh, overlay. It's tint overlay. Uh, this is another product that is just an overlay. It's a gloss black um, overlay, vinyl thick, and I'll show you where all these are going. These are just a few examples. This is trim tape, vinyl trim tape. It's like electrician's tape, but just a little bit different. And then you know I got a variety of other things up here that I'm not going to mention, but just you know to kind of show you over the years, I've just gathered all these products, and none of this stuff's real expensive at all. And you just kind of learn tips and tricks. And you can do stuff. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you guys, these are musts, just touch up uh, paint. I got this for my CRX to paint my calipers. And then this stuff, guys, this stuff is a wonder. Um, that stuff, Plasti Dip, I've used it on so many things, wheels, emblems, trim. Uh, it's crazy what it does and how good it can look and how long it lasts. All right, number one, paint your calipers. Paint your calipers body color. I just did this. So this is how this video started. I was gonna just uh, talk about this only. And, um, but then I thought that's really not enough content to have anything washable. But I got body color paint. It was about $30 for a spray can. That's including shipping and tax. It was like 22 plus, but it really came out good. And this took me a couple hours. Just take the wheel off, sand it, clean it, prime it, paint it about five coats. I put some gloss on top of it and uh, it looks really really good so that's an idea that's just an easy idea inexpensive something you can do and um, really improves the look of the car significantly all right number two is trim tape and painting the trim so like painting trim so when I say painting trim like I sanded and painted these and they look really good they were in pretty pretty bad shape before same with this same with this old car. These things were shot. Just sanded and painted it a flat black. It looks really good. And then trim tape, you might notice how new this looks. The reason it looks so new is because I put a piece of trim tape on it. And this, again, is super cheap stuff. Um, I mean, this probably costs like eight cents. And as you can see, it looks brand new. So you just cut a piece of custom of trim tape and you can put it places like here or you could put it here. I didn't, but I put it on that piece before. Just anywhere the trim is deteriorating, you just cut a piece of trim tape, clean it up real good and you can put it there. Um, yeah, that's number two. Number three is vinyl accents. So this is something that I really loved that I did on my Fiesta years ago. And I don't know if you can see because the lighting, but there's a swoosh right here. And I just cut those myself. It took a little time, but the vinyl's real inexpensive. And basically it just follows the shape of the body in the door. It goes right up there. And I'll see if we can look at it on the other side. Maybe it's a little bit of a better view. You can kind of see this car's kind of crammed in the garage, so it's hard. But I think you can tell from the camera angle I'm getting um, that just vinyl accents that really can make the car stand out and uh, just to accent it's a gray and again I just cut those that product is I mean it's 20 bucks for a huge roll 10 bucks for a smaller roll but that's probably three or four dollars of vinyl and I you know had to experiment and cut it and measure it and 
be very detail oriented to get it right, but it came out really good. So in the right lighting, it's a really neat, just very subtle accent. Again, it follows the contour of the body. So that's number three is vinyl accents. Number four is tint overlays. So this is something I've done for cars. Here's one. Again, this is just this stuff here. It's 35% tint. Super strong, seven year outdoor rating. I've had this on maybe four years, not a single issue. You can still see plenty of light through it. And I just put, I created this piece to just add a little accent so that bright orange didn't pop so much. Did the same thing here on the bottom. So just kind of bring that line, that body line right here. See, the body line right here comes right through the door handles and then it comes to the back of the car right there. So what I did is I just created a vinyl overlay for the tail light that would continue that body line right and wrap around the car. Um, and just creative stuff. Again, that's, you know, a dollar of vinyl and uh, just continues that line all the way around the car. Kind of stuff that people don't notice, but you kind of realize like, hey, there's something special there. Another neat vinyl uh, overlay, tint overlay I did was on this car. Just created this small here. I have these for sale actually in another video. But just a small reverse light. So it just takes that from being white to just a little smoke. And it just kind of brings it out, you know, just kind of gives a nice little accent there on the car. So that's number four is vinyl overlays. Number five is a headlight restoration. Um, you can get these kits, get a good one. Don't get the cheap ones that are easy. Get a good one or you actually have to sand for an hour. They're about $20. These lights were, again, this car's an 03, so 19 years old, and they look brand new, look perfect. I did these a couple months ago, and they were yellow, they were clouded. You gotta sand, 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 sand. Your arm's gonna hurt, you're gonna be tired. When you're done, it's gonna look amazing. And then you do all the th things they say, tape it off, do it right, put the clear coat on, and it's just a great way for $20 to just bring a car back. I actually did this car as well. These lights were a little older. They didn't pop as much, but also it's a different material, I believe. So it's um, not quite as bright. Of course, this one's not in the light, but they did come out very nice. They were cloudy and yellow and kind of opaque, and they came out pretty clear. All right, number six is uh, your wheels. So polishing and painting wheels. So these wheels were in bad shape, and I polished them and they look really good. You can just get a metal polish. What I recommend if you're gonna polish wheels is one of these. Get a felt pad, you can get these at Amazon, felt polishing pads. And uh, that with a uh, random orbital, which you can also find anywhere, and some good polish, metal polish, will make a wheel, a metal wheel look fantastic. These wheels were cloudy and uh, yucky and I thought about painting them, and then I just decided I'm gonna polish them. And I mean, again, th this is five, ten dollars of material, and it polished it, and it looks really, really great. So, polish, and then I said paint wheels. I just painted these about a week ago, you know, two or three weeks ago, actually. But, um, you know, figure out what you're doing. Don't do it cheap, do it right. You can do this yourself. I actually took the wheels off the car. I extensively wash them, degrease them, dry them, blue dry them, let them sit in the sun. I then put nine coats. I did six coats of Plasti Dip in case I ever want to go backwards and pull it off because these are expensive wheels. Uh, and then I did three to four coats of the uh, color which I chose, which was a graphite gray. And I mean, it looks fantastic. I've done a lot of wheels over the years. Not perfect, but it really looks good. You know, you gotta be careful to get in the groove here. You know, mask it off with index cards, do it right, um, do the prep the right way, and you can really, really for cheap, I mean, this was $20 of Plasti Dip and Paint, that's it. And these came out super, super good. Um, so you can do it yourself, again, you know, you can buy new wheels or spend $20, and these things look really, really good. Uh, number seven is new stickers and emblems. Um, this is just a quick thing, but just for a few dollars, usually you can get new emblems. Um, I did that on this car. This is a new emblem. This is a new emblem. So just little stuff you can do, just a little bit of money to, uh, this is an old emblem here. And these are things, you know, 
So you can see how ratty this looks. I probably could replace this at some point, but it's it's decent. These were kind of gone. But just new stickers and emblems you can get pretty cheap. And, um, you know, it just makes the car pop instead of having an old gross emblem. Uh, number seven was new stickers and emblems. Number eight is uh, custom and custom color emblems. Just this is something you can do. You know, this is a creative idea that I came up with. This uh, Fiesta ST came with... Uh, something similar to that on the back. So I just thought since I put an X47 turbo on it, wouldn't it be cool to uh, kind of have something unique and special? So I grabbed an X and a four and a seven and uh, they're like 99 cents each, painted them and stuck them on there. So in place of the ST, which I think came out really good. So it's just a unique, different, kind of a one-off thing. And then other stuff like this you can do. I, I had these, this custom color made for the program fuel injection DOHC. Just little stuff. Again, this, this sticker was, I mean, these stickers are like $5 each. And uh, you can get any color you want. So I had gray because I knew I was going to paint the wheels gray. And so that gray came out really nice. Um, yeah, just little custom stuff like that. Uh, number nine is just what I call add-on accents, like lug nuts, like those black lug nuts. I bought those. Those were like $25 at, at uh, Advance Auto. You can get like a license plate frame, this 1.6 to, you know, it, it, it's like, it was like $11. I mean, just nothing. Um, you know, things like mud flaps. I mean, this is all stuff you can just kind of do yourself. Get spoilers. These are a little more pricey, but this spoiler for the CRX was about $55. Just a spoiler king accent. Got one here for the Insight too. Just little accents and things like that you can do. Um, just add-ons. And then uh, the last thing I'd say was just fabrication. And fabrication is just like, if you want us to kind of get daring, like start making your own stuff. So like, for example, this is easy. Bumper plugs to plug the holes. These guys, just get them and paint them body color and stick them in there. You can get those plugs anywhere like AutoZone or Lowe's. If you really want to get advanced, I actually made these out of uh, cutting boards. The diffuser here on the bottom. And while I'm talking about custom things, this actually was body color here. And I plasti dipped and painted that that gray to match the same color as the gray on the swoosh vinyl and then the same on the front and the same gray here painted that gray of course that's gray so you see there's a theme and there's some thought going here but then I created these I actually made these myself I measured made cardboard templates cut them out got some cutting boards which seemed like the best quality thing I've had those on there about four or five years they have no issues at all and I just glued them on with 3m tape and I've got my own custom one, two, three, four, five. And you can buy a set of those for, I think they're like $100 from different people make them for this car. But I just thought I'm going to make my own. So it was like probably $9 in material for all that. You know, took some thinking. But um, anyway, that's 10 easy do-it-yourself low bling mods you can do to any car. I just thought I'd share this. Again, it all started with painting these calipers. They came out so good. And I thought, um, you know, I've done so many little custom things. I'll just make a video about it. So hope it's helpful. And uh, maybe this will inspire you to get creative and enjoy what you have and make the best of it. Thanks for watching. Peace.